for organizing this today. This is in honor of Jean Baxter, George Dragon, John Karras, and Claire Yazerski, and the town of Hadley employees. We also want to thank Winesick Nursery for donating the trees. First, what? And Echelon for the um, refreshments. Thank you. I think first we're going to bring up. <laughs> First, we're going to bring up Emma. Come on up. <laughs> Emma's going to uh, talk about her parents, George and Jean. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Great. Awesome. Okay. So, um, so I'm Emma. I'm the representative from the Dragon family. My brother, Patrick, is here as well. Um, our family uh, ha is direct settlers from when they came up from the Weathersfield Plantation from Hadley, so from Nehemiah Dickinson. So we've been around in a lot, for a long time. Um, my dad was really, really involved with the town, but behind the scenes with the asparagus suppers and the different churches and certainly the memorial parade events as well, running around setting up signs for my mom and, and John and everything and getting it all ready. Um, also involved with Hadley Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts for many, many years. And um, my mom, I think a lot of people knew her. She was a force of nature. She was definitely out there and would let you know her point of view and her perspective, and she wasn't afraid to hide it, but then was also always so gracious to help teach and educate and foster collaboration. She was involved in Girl Scouts, churches, PTO, um, and also many years at the North Hadley um, hall running summer programs with kids so just really fostering our youth in our community and helping grow Hadley to be what it is today so we just really want to thank everyone who's here and those who couldn't be here today to help memorialize my parents and everything that they did for the town um, thank you hi i'm diane karis chokas and i'm here with my mother lorraine my sister is linda kenny and Lori Resendiz, all of Hadley, and we're with our families as well and our friends on this beautiful day that the rain has held off on. A little closer, please. Um, we would like to thank the Shade Committee. Brandy, thank you for organizing in this honor and the touching way that they're going to honor my father and these other Hadley citizens. We would also like to express our sincere gratitude to the Winesick Evergreen Nursery for their generous donation to the community. We appreciate theirs as well as Echelon Coffee Roasting for their continued dedication to Hadley. It's certainly noticed and appreciated, not only today, but at all the town events that we have. We love that the Shade Tree Committee has brought together so many people today that love um, Hadley and appreciate the community, especially the outstand outstanding Hadley Girl Scouts, the very talented first Hadley Elementary cheerleading team. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate them helping um, to assist with the planting today. Being a Girl Scout leader for over 10 years and working very closely with Jean Baxter in that capacity, I know for sure that she's definitely here with us in spirit. I would also be remiss if I did not mention how she and my father worked so closely for many, many years to ensure that Hadley had an extremely successful, well-represented and patriotic Memorial Day parade for as long as I can remember. I admired their friendship and dedication to the town of Hadley. This is truly a wonderful way to keep their friendship rooted. We also recognize the great contributions of George Dragon, Claire Yazerski, and all the other hardworking Hadley Town employees that are here today. I've had the pleasure of working with them closely for over 10 years being a park and rec commissioner in town, a Girl Scout leader, and citizen of Hadley. Thank you and congratulations. <clears throat> As we stand here today at this special ceremony, one cannot help but think about the symbolism of having a tree planted in the memory of a loved one and what that represents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's sister love. In order for a tree to grow, it must establish its roots. It's very fitting and humbling that our dad is bestowed this honor in a place that he was so proud to call home for over 50 years. A place where Karis roots were established for over 100 years ago, just a short distance down that road over there, 
when dirt roads led to the fields that were transformed into a childhood playground where my dad would play with his siblings, cousins, and friends while his parents farmed in the meadows. These fields would eventually be embedded with his footprints when he began to work the fields himself, especially during asparagus season. When he settled after marriage, Hadley would become his forever home. Dad's tree of life began to blossom as his roots began to run deep and branches began to grow. The foundation remained strong as it was rooted in faith, family, friends, and community. Dad provided the nourishment to help the branches grow stronger. He was a man devoted to his faith, a loving husband and father and friend to all, and a man that recognized his dedication to helping the community. Some of you may realize this and some of you may not, but when my dad had an opportunity for some land that he had that was available for sale, he made the conscious decision to preserve it by placing it under APR. It's the Agricultural Preservation Restriction Program, which protects the valley farmland when he could have really have sold it for a profit. He made the choice to do that. This tree will serve as a reminder of all these qualities our dad truly exemplified. And as we witness the unique beauty beyond the changing of seasons on this tree, may we be reminded of the unique beauty found in the season of one's life. May this tree serve as a reminder that things, even in mischange, change, as in the passing of our beloved dad, can still grow beautifully and produce abundant fruit with strong roots. A maple tree symbolizes a promise of balance, love, longevity, and abundance. It also speaks of success, generosity, and practicality. These attributes perfectly capture and represent who our dad was and how he will be remembered. We are grateful for this special and beautiful honor bestowed upon our father. And as Lucy Larkham once said, he who plants a tree plants hope. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Trisbett, formerly Washkevitz, um, and I'm here to speak on behalf of the rest of my family and honoring my grandmother, uh, Claire Yazerski, who a lot of us actually remember or know as Bocce. Uh, for those of you who didn't know ba or who knew Bocce, you might actually be surprised to know that she didn't grow up in Hadley. Um, she grew up in Lynn uh, and moved here as a teenager where she met my Jaju uh, working on the farm and married him and stayed in North Hadley for the rest of her life. Uh, she absolutely loved this community and she would tell us so many stories about everything she did here, every little tiny bit of um, volunteering, of working in Han's store uh, on the corner in North Hadley. Uh, she would talk about how Jaja worked in the fire department in North Hadley, um, how they would do block parties and they would set up a pond, uh, not a pond, but set up a skating rink uh, right by the pond. She would talk about skating on North Hadley Pond, uh, taking her children and then later us um, skating there in the winters. Uh, we would walk down to the North Hadley Library uh, for all of their community events there. Bachi loved being a part of Hadley and loved being a part of this community. She knew everyone, it seemed, because when we would go on our outings together, uh, all of us grandkids would be very uh, little upset <laughs> as she had to sit and talk to everybody about their entire life story. I know that she would actually be very honored uh, to be remembered in this way and be a part of this community uh, forever with this tree. So I just want to thank the Shade Tree Committee, um, thank Mother's Club. Uh, she was a huge part of that and that was a huge part of her life as well. Um, and really thank everyone who made today special and really made this something that we can look at and remember and again look at the fact that she can be remembered in this way and be a part of this community for the rest of her life here. So thank you. Hello everyone, I'm going to use my loud voice so I hope you all can hear me. Um, I am honored to be coming up after all of these uh, honoring the legacies of Hadley and I am here to honor future legacies of Hadley, the town employees. Um, I want to thank Brandy Phil and members of the Shade Committee, Christine Kelly and John Edwards for inviting me to this tree dedication. Uh, a, little, a little history about me and trees. I was very fortunate to grow up surrounded by woods. And um, I also was 
fortunate to grow up in the era where everybody, all the kids stayed outside all day long. And I have several scars from building forts, from my failures to stay secure in a tree as a child. Gravity and poor judgment were factors that an eight-year-old could not battle with. But trees were my sanctuary which I think trees are meant to be, not just to protect us from the sun. Let me share one incident from my childhood. I was probably 11 years old. I had been fighting all day with my five siblings. And um, one afternoon I came to a conclusion that they didn't like me, they didn't appreciate me, and I was absolutely positive they liked my twin sister better than me. So my decision was to run away and make them feel all bad, all of them feel really bad. So I left them in front of the TV and I ran through a worn path through the woods and climbed up a tree. And I sat there and I sat there and I sat there in this tree. I was sure about four hours had passed and I felt it was time the mosquitoes had gotten to me. So after about four hours, I returned to my home and expecting a very warm welcome. Everybody was really glad to see me. They had called the police, but no, they were sitting in front of the TV and it had only been 45 minutes. So I just wanted to share with you that there is a connection to trees, our childhood, and I'll stop talking about my insecurities. <laughs> I have recovered. Um, I'm honored to have been asked to dedicate this tree to the employees of Hadley. They are one of your greatest assets here in Hadley. Since I started here in September 2020, I've had the opportunity to work along, alongside with an incredible group of people, employees who serve the town of Hadley. In almost 35 years of working in municipal government and four municipalities, I have, this is the most dedicated and talented group of employees I've ever worked with. They are public servants who use their knowledge and their expertise to provide quality services to you, the residents. I'm constantly impressed how they advocate for the residents and respectfully address problems and issues that come across their desks on a daily basis. They take the extra effort to do what is best for the resident. Depending on the department, they sometimes have to share information that you don't wanna hear. But in those circumstances, most of the time, it's for your safety or for another's safety. So in honor and in appreciation, let's dedicate this tree to all of the employees serving the town. I'm going to list the departments, but as I scan this, there, you do have several departments already represented here. The Board of Assessors, Animal Control, the Select Board Office, the Board of Health, the Building Department, the Cemetery Division, the Council on Aging, the Department of Public Works, which includes water and sewer, emergency management, the fire department, Hadley Media, the Hadley Police Department, Hadley Public Library, Human Resources, Parks and Recreation, the school department, the town clerk, the town collector, and the treasurer. And I truly hope I did not forget anybody, but I double checked on the website. So if I can just ask a favor, any employees here, could you just raise your hands? And planning, if you act like an employee, yes, you serve as an employee, Linda. So thank all of them. They're an amazing group of people. Oh God. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate the support from everyone, and especially Winesick Nursery for these. Um, they support us every year, and we could not do that without the um, so please eat the treats over here on the table. Um, they will go to waste if you don't. And um, please see us next year. Thank you, guys. <laughs>